the Jost Group is an enterprise which was founded in 1952 as a factory for ball bearing turntables in New Isenberg near Frankfurt, Germany. Our products are amongst the most frequently used components in the truck and trailer sector today. Convinced by the excellence of what we do, all the major manufacturers place their trust in Jost. Jost India tradition of success based on flexibility, technical know-how, entrepreneurial action and a close relationship with our employees. Sequence of service procedure for JSK 38 DV50 Before starting service activity, please ensure availability of the following tools. Removal of top plate and child parts. Hold the bottom nut by ring spanner and turn bolt anti-clockwise to open it. Open all 12 bolts and nuts. Put the top plate on plain surface, keeping pedestal upward. Now, open hexagonal head bolt to dismantle bridge and lower rubber cushion. Remove and keep pedestal gently on plain surface and ensure that there is no crack, wear and tear and it is fit for use. Remove upper rubber cushion. If required, use chisel and hammer to open it safely and quickly. Open hexagonal head bolt to remove long handle. Open double tension spring. Use special hook type tool to open it. Press safety latch and pull the handle out. Now unlock split pin. Remove washer. Pivot will be automatically removed. Remove spring loop, spacer and locking lever. Open and remove hexagonal head bolt and support plate. If required, use chisel and hammer to open it completely. Remove hexagonal bolt and fixing plate. Now, keep the top plate vertically to open wearing ring. Open and remove all three socket head bolts, M12. Remove wearing ring. If required, use chisel to open it. Insert socket head bolt and pull pivot out. Remove lock jaw.
Finally, remove locking bar. Assembly of 38DV50. Keep 38DV50 top plate vertical. Insert locking bar, slide it to appropriate place and insert lock jaw. Align the whole of lock jaw with top plate. Insert pivot from top side and push it to lock it. Place wearing ring and tighten it with socket head screw. Use hammer and then apply torque. 80 Newton meter torque. Assemble latch complete with the help of box spanner specified. Torque it to 30 Newton meter torque. Place top plate at horizontal plane, keeping welded parts upward. Apply grease at all sliding and frictional areas properly. Place lever and then support plate. Tighten it with two hexagonal head bolts. Torque it properly to the torque of 74 Newton meter. Insert locking lever, assemble spring hook, put washer, insert pivot and insert washer and split pin to lock it. Push locking lever inside and adjust spring hook onto the locking bar properly. If required, use hammer, chisel and spring hook to ensure that it is correctly fitted in locking bar groove. and assemble double tension spring from rib to lever. Insert adjusting screw. Swing handle until it touches the locking bar. Tighten the adjusting screw until the handle starts to move. To achieve basic play of 0.3 mm, tighten the adjusting screw further one and a half turns and secure it by lock nut. Assemble fixing plate and tighten it with hexagonal head bolt. Assemble handle to lever and tighten it. Press safety latch and release locking bar from lock jaw by pulling handle. Tension spring mounted on lock jaw to be clamped properly. Lock or spread all split pins, use chisel, hammer 
and small hollow pipe to bend the split pins. Install upper rubber cushion properly. Place pedestal and lower rubber cushion in it. Fix bridge and tighten the whole assembly by hexagonal head bolt for numbers. Talk it properly. Talk required is 350 Newton meters. Two functional check of fifth wheel coupling by special kingpin gauge. For reinstallation of fifth wheel coupling unit to the vehicle, follow just installation and mounting instruction. We always recommend the use of only just original spare parts for longevity of your vehicle and tension free driving. Leaflets and contact details are marked. Service toolkit and kingpin gauge are available with just and can be purchased against order.